Do your four-legged friends have you crawling around on all fours, cleaning up after them? Are you tired of scrubbing your floors every day? Are you sick and tired of vacuuming and then coughing when all the dust comes out when you empty the vacuum cleaner? Maybe you need a RoboVac. Hope you enjoyed that fake infomercial. That was actually a lot of fun to make. So this video will be about my new RoboVac. I used to have one, but my main issue with that, given the fact that I have two cats and there is literally fluff everywhere, was the fact that I needed to manually empty it every time. Sometimes, forget, and basically the next clean meant that nothing actually got sucked up. So the number one reason for changing was the fact that I needed something that had an auto empty station. Number two, I did want to be able to mop the floors maybe once a week. The old one basically had a mop that just slid around the ground. But what I did want was something that could oscillate and just give it a little bit of a scrub. And lastly, it needed to be compact. The space that I was going to be putting it into, it's under a table and that kind of tucks it in out of the way. So I did a lot of research, settled on the T10 Plus. But firstly, let's see what you get in the box and do an unboxing. Firstly, we have just a sheet explaining everything, and it comes in two separate pull out handles. So this would be the vacuum. Okay, vacuum. Oh, that's quite nice. Now, Gary wants to unbox. So, in this one, we have all the accessories. So, we've got the mopping pad, filter, more extra mopping pads little cleaning tool, power cord. There's a little perfume thing that you can attach uh, so that once it cleans, it actually makes the place smell better. The left and right cleaning brushes. Okay, next up we have, there we go. That's the new D-Bot. It comes very nicely wrapped, as you can see. So right off the bat, this is looking much nicer. The plastic just seems ever so slightly better quality. It is, I just realized that this the entire thing lifts up to reveal the compartment for cleaning, the filter, uh, and then this is all magnetic, as you can see. The other parts to this, obviously you've got the cameras, the side checks, there's the downward facing uh, obstacle detection, there's the two spots for the side brushes, and the charging port this time is on the back, whereas in the past, in the charging contact points were right at the front here, which they're gone. All right, now to the base station. All righty, what are we having here? Very well padded. Here we go. This is the base station. And here you can see there's a bag already installed that's going to auto empty. And the good thing about this is you pull this tab and it closes off the bag so you don't get any dust and particles flying everywhere. Other than that, the charging contact points, this is the duct that actually sucks up all the dust and debris from here, straight into here. On the back, our point and somewhere to coil the cords up. Pretty basic. Now we also have this thing. And this just appears to be a tray so that the RoboVac docks appropriately. So, like I said, unlike the previous version, this time around, this reverses in to dock rather than going in from the front so yeah that's a quick unboxing i'm gonna set it up and show you how it goes so this should be setting up my new robovac Here we go. I'm going to just put in my Wi-Fi password. I'm going to turn the robot on. So there we go. We. That's probably the sound. Thanks for choosing the Ecobax robot. Please scan the QR code for details. 
So it's connected and it should be transmitting the Wi-Fi details and logging in the app. Uh, what should we call it? I'm going to call it Robert the Robot. Welcome back. As you can see, the new one is very compact for what it does. It has the auto MP station that just does the dust. We still have to manually do the mopping component with the attachment. And I like the fact that it's white. My old one was black, which meant that it stood out a bit more against the furniture and everything around. You can see it's a lot of white and pale colors. But also I figure that for a actual vacuum cleaner, the moment it gets dusty on the black, you just notice the dust upon it a little bit more. So it does get underneath furniture and whatnot. So it this looks noticeably cleaner. How does it perform? Look, genuinely, as a vacuum cleaner, it's not really that much different to the previous generation. It is a pretty easy setup. The one nice thing is that this new version does have the camera, which is using AI to avoid obstacles. So unlike the previous generation, this one hasn't gotten stuck onto shoes or edges of carpet or tripped over cables. It seems to have avoided all those things. Also, because I have pets, it seems to recognize pets and not really scare them too much. And though I haven't had this yet, but my cats haven't done any nasties on the carpet or on the floor that the vacuum would have needed to avoid. Hopefully I never have to test it. Now, in terms of mopping, this doesn't have the spinning mop pads. It has an oscillating pad. So it kind of is scrubbing the floor lightly as it goes. So this is an improvement on the previous version and something that's kind of nice to have. The floors end up looking a lot cleaner. And it also helps just get those little fine particles scrubbed up into the actual mopping pad. So at the end of a clean, the D-Bot will go back to its docking station and you can hear a fairly loud whoosh, but it does manage to empty the entirety of the storage container out so that it's ready for the next clean. Start charging. Now, some of the other things that made me choose this over all the other competing brands was the fact that Ecovax is one of the RoboVac companies that actually gets externally security tested. I do like to know where my data is going. One of the other special features this has is the fact that you can access the camera feed during a clean or any other time, really. The reason I kind of like it, even though it feels a little bit creepy, is the fact that I do have pets. So sometimes when I'm away, and just actually turn it on and have a look and see what they're up to. One other interesting thing which I haven't used yet is that you get these little fragrance capsules that you can put into. Let me just go get it for you. You are given one of these in the packet, which I'm not sure if you can really see it. It's a little, let me just open it up. It's wild bluebell. So this actually just goes into the mopping station. This has a nice fragrance that it scatters around the place. So it just makes your clean, smell a lot nicer. So what do I think of it overall? The vacuum component was the most important thing. Is this the highest suction power vacuum ever? Nope. Is this the one that has all the bells and whistles? Nope. I think this is the perfect one that makes the right trade-offs for space efficiency and price to get the features that I need for my apartment. Your needs may be different and there are obviously a lot of different ones out there, but for my needs, I think this is perfect. So those are my thoughts on the Ecovax D-Bot T10 Plus, and I hope you like this little review. I, have you got a RoboVac? Are you gonna get one? Let me know in the comments below. So let me know if you like this sort of a video. This is not the usual tech YouTuber sort of a thing, and I'm only just starting. I'm not sponsored by Ecovax. It's just something that I bought. And so your support actually means a lot. And what you say actually guides what I make. Because I'm such a small channel and it is totally not sponsored, a like and subscribe goes a long way towards A, giving me the encouragement to keep making these videos, but also just to give the channel a little bit more prominence. So maybe I can do extra reviews. People might actually send me review units so that I can try them out and let you know what I think. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it's the video up here about the ironing station or whatever YouTube recommends. Bye now.